with just a few dollars left on my gift card from Mother's Day and Hobby Lobby having a sale, this was the perfect time for me to purchase a few supplies that I have been wanting to test out. And that is what I'm going to share with you in this video along with a quick little swatching. All right, stay tuned. Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. And I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. All right, so on this trip to Hobby Lobby, um, I wanted to, let me just dive right into this thing. I, I saw online that they were having a sale on the Master's Touch paints and art supplies. So I figured that would be a great time to um, explore and experiment with um, some of their thick body acrylic paints. Now, these are... Let's see, two ounces. They are originally six ninety nine, um, and so I, I wanted to get colors that I would definitely use. Obviously, I would use white, um, and I would like to try these on canvas. I have yet to use heavy body or any type of thick body, and I haven't done a larger canvas. So I would like to venture off into that area, but I would. I want to be able to layer and, um, you know, get a different effect than what I've gotten in the past with regular craft paint. And regular craft paint would be like, what is it, Apple Barrel or, you know, the one that you buy at Hobby Lobby. So I got that color, Turquoise Deep. I've got Titanium White. And then I should have got a different, a lighter white, but that's neither here nor there. And then I got, of course, the Ocean Green. Um, so I'm anxious to try these out. I'm going to swatch these in just a moment, so stay tuned for that. Um, I didn't get a whole lot. No, I did not get a whole lot. And for you, for the viewer purposes, I went on ahead and unpackaged a couple things so we can move right along in here. Um, I got um, a number three Micron and a number, another number five one that I could put in my travel bag. Um, I have one on my desk, but I needed another one. These are already unpackaged at this point. And they were also having a good sale on their brushes. Now, I, because of my desire to sketch and wash, I think they call it line and wash, watercolor, I wanted to get the smaller, you know, the, the tiny, cute little, for detail work now granted I am nowhere near in that uh you know I don't have that kind of experience where I should be even <laughs> considering uh detail work because I'm having a hard time with like squares and circles um but you know if I have you know if, if I can get it and move it off to the side for future use then that's what we'll do you know that that's what we're going to to do and at some point in the near future these will come in handy I will have them um, now this one is an angular it's this angular shader it's a number four and again this is master's touch fine art studio and then this one is an angular shader number 12 why does it have 12 and a zero over either way but these are tiny look how tiny it is it's uh, this one is six and a quarter inches and then this one is only five inches five inches yeah so tiny so tiny okay and then uh, believe it or not let me show you what I picked up this thing got none well it does because it's from Hobby Lobby but they had these on sale at the checkout you know the impulse shopping um, area some little filigree earrings. I thought these were lovely. I believe these are rose gold. I believe that they are, but they're great. They'll be great for this season, upcoming season. And they were on sale. For, they were on clearance for ninety nine cents. So I saw the orange sticker. The orange sticker caught my eye, of course. And then they also had other earrings over there that were not um, on sale. But you know how they do it. They'll mix in a clearance in there. To draw your eye in and while you're reaching for this you'll get one right next to it as well that's what the idea of the hope is anyway so I got that and now this is the last thing that I want to show you from this all right so the last thing that I wanted to really bring a little focus to is the paper studio die cut pack now this is a hundred pieces 
50 designs, two each, originally priced $449, half price $225, which I thought was a deal um, just because of the number of pieces you get, the variety of pieces you get, but a kind of a uniform color palette here. You can use this if you wanted to do a collection of cards um, or if you are more of a muted toned, um, you know, if you're, ex if you're aesthetic, or if your aesthetic is more muted, this is a great pack for you. Now, for me, I do enjoy Tim Holtz's contrasts with his die cuts. That's not for everyone. But some of us still like vintage. We just want it a little bit softer. And something like this would be great for the paper crafter um, who, you know, you like a little bit softer of a tone. Um, the price was great. And I want to just, for those who are not familiar with the paper studio, um brand of ephemera they have additional um ephemera packs that i've shown in other hauls but um i feel that the quality is it's a good quality um it's it, it's not paper per se it's definitely not as thick as tim holtz um whether that's good or whether that's bad that's up to you depends on what you like um, but in this pack, there's a variety of different pieces in different sizes. So I am just bringing this to your attention for those who you like Tim Holtz because the vintage is everything. But at the same time, um, you are looking for something a little bit different. You don't want to, um, you don't want to buy a knockoff of something so you're not shopping at certain sites. Check out what Hobby Lobby has. But more importantly, make sure you're checking them out when they're having a sale. Because um, Hobby Lobby is doing some... <laughs> they're doing a little shuffling from one store to the next. And you never quite know what you're going to uh, run up on in their stores. You know, what you'll come across there now listen i said that i wanted to swatch these paints so that is what i'm going to do i just need to find the book that i can do that in and if you'll hold for just a second i'm going to do that now okay so this is what i have decided um i have a um a watercolor book that i'm using a handmade watercolor book here it is um, but what I, this is my swatch book and what I think I'm going to do is do a flip out because I want to keep some of the better quality paints together. So I'm going to cut this down just a smidge and then just have it so that I can, you know, tape it along the side and add it to this journal here, a uh, swatch journal. Compliments of our good friend Maria of Art Alchemy. All right, so let me just try and um, not mess this up. I think this should be fine. What was the size there? Eight, eight would be eight and a half by. This would be eight and a half. So it'll be right there. We're gonna go. Well, how about we do this? That way I know it'll fit. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to cut here. Y'all not here for all of this. Y'all just want to see the swatch. I get it. I know, folks. This is it's unscripted, unrehearsed. You're getting it unfiltered. And you will get it edited, though, because no one needs to hear all the bloopers. Unless, of course, you would like to hear the bloopers. I'm just going to take a little bit of the edge off the bottom of it off okay so we need a paintbrush and water all right let's get messy okay I've got some water paper towel and I got a wider brush because like who and why are we testing paint and we can't see the paint you know who who, who wants to do that all right, let's first and foremost, let's start off with the lightest, okay? 
I'm excited about this. This is my first time trying a thick, but I'm, this has been a long time coming, folks. Okay. Now, my hope is, is that whatever. Okay. You see the consistency of that? Yeah, you able to see that? It's not, it's not too loose. And as you can see, it sits in a, it doesn't spread out when I put it on the paint, on the paper. It's not moving. It's not moving. That's good. That's a good sign as far as I'm concerned. Because if we want movement, we'll go for, <laughs> we'll go for apple, apple barrel or whatever it's called. Okay. So we got this one. Ocean Green, and again, I purchased that for 40%, no, um, yeah, it was 40% off. I got three of them for about $12, so let's just see what we get here. Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, I feel like I want to go with dark. Let me clean that off because I don't want to contaminate the next color. I want to go with the turquoise deep. They have a variety of colors. They have a variety of colors. Um, can I afford to add more right now? I know, because I was only trying to spend what was on the gift card. Um, but I did notice, I went to, um, oh, look at this. <gasps> How gorgeous is that deep? Turquoise deep. Um, I did go online to Amazon to see who offered um, a thick or heavy body acrylic paints in uh, two ounce um, tubes. And Meaden and um, Golden both offer them. Uh, Meaden is the higher. Oh, good Lord. Look at that. Oh, is that. Look at that. Look at this beautifulness. It almost looks like the base of it has a pearlesque look to it. Let me let me smooth it out. Now I don't really want to smooth it out, but let's see how much. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is amazing. All right. Now what I want to do is with a little bit that's left on my brush, I do want to contaminate the white. I'm going to put the white on top of here. That was a lot put the white no so meeting offers a similar um size tube two two ounces for i want to say maybe twelve dollars let me clean this off and then i'll try and see if i can blend them and see what what we get from a for a good blend and get a I got to take a minute to clean this brush off properly um, and then golden is next in line at around $9. So, you know, the acrylic paints, the quality acrylic paints, they're not that this is, this is not for the faint of heart, <laughs> the price wise anyways. Um, let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that. Look at that gorgeousness. Now in a minute. We, we know what white is given. If we see the consistency of the colors here, then we have an idea of what the white is doing. I don't know if we'll get full coverage. Like if you're using white, will it, um, on top of a color, if it's going, if it's so opaque that it will do a full coverage, that part I don't know. I would have to wait for this to dry and I'm not going to do that. I want to wait. I would like for it to dry naturally. But what I do want to do is give you guys a close up of it so you can see um, the thickness of it even after I have um, spread it out. So here we go. Look at that. That is some beautiful paint. That is some really beautiful paint. And I don't know if I'm, you know, I'm just wowed by this simply because I'm not used to it. My mother used to have a saying, I don't want to say it because it's inappropriate, but uh, let's just say that the same would reflect the fact that you're not used to good things. Okay. Um, but that paint is beautiful. 
I would love to add more to it, but this is what I do want to do. I would like to purchase a couple tubes of in a similar color, maybe not exactly the same color, but in the blues and greens um, of golden and meaden and see how they line up with the master's touch. Because, for, you know, for what it's worth, this at full price being seven dollars is less expensive than golden which is the low you know there are other ones there are other names that are just as um, recognizable um, but those are the two top ones that I see all the time everywhere and I see most artists have at least you know a portion of their supply those two names in them anyways um but I would like to get those other two brands and just compare to see if the quality is similar now, I'm not an artist, clearly. Well, I'm not an acrylic painting. I'm not an acrylic paint artist. I am an artist in my own right. Um, that being said, for those of us who dibble and dabble in mixed media and so on and so forth, I'm just reporting on this from the aspect of how we use paints. Um, but I do, th again, the reason why I bought it is because I would like to um, expand or you know, explore larger canvas paints, paintings. So I would like to have um, a variety of higher quality paints in order to get uh, a better coverage on top of the canvas so that I'm not seeing the actual canvas in my finished pieces. So that being said, listen, I hope you guys found this inspiring, inspirational, educational, or whatever it is that you come to these videos for. Uh, but most importantly, I hope you learned something and I hope it helped you um, determine what you'll be able to purchase on your next uh, haul or your next uh, shopping spree, I should say, or what not to buy. Maybe you don't like this paint. <laughs> Maybe those ephemera pieces are not for you. I don't know, but I'm just coming back with, to report on the data. And um, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. And if you're still here, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because you obviously liked it. And if you are not currently a subscriber, again, you're still here. You're already a part of the family. Make it official. Hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell. And for those who are returning subscribers, thanks so much for coming back each and every video for uh, commenting, liking, sharing me in your creative spaces, and just showing the video some love. I appreciate all of you. If there's anything in here that you have any questions about, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to answer any questions. Um, if you want me to do a deeper dive into any of this, or if there's another, another brand that you would like for me to explore that's similar to the Master's Touch, um, Maybe a brand by uh, Ma uh, Michaels or whatever have you. Let me know and I'll, I'll do my best to put that on the list when I get my funds together to do another purchase. But until we're back here together on Patreon and YouTube, my friends and my family, stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafting. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.